Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonin here again, and today I am going to be showing you combos with Hawks. Um, in this video, I'm not going to be talking about any of these buttons or how to do any of these combos, because I explained that in my Hawks breakdown. This video is solely going to be me showing you uh, his combo routes. So the bread and butter for Hawks is, looks like this. With a single dash cancel, you're going to be getting about 9,200 damage uh, consistently. Uh, obviously, the damage will change depending on because um, he has all these multi-hitting things. So depending on how much you let of every hit hit, you can get some pretty decent damage off of everything. Yeah, that 9,400 off of that. Um, so yeah, uh, good high damaging bread but bread and butter combo. Um, you can obviously extend it again by doing almost the same thing you do on the ground, but in the air. Oh wait, I didn't let the all those fellas hit. And if you do two dash cancels, you're going to get 11,100 damage, which is pretty good damage for two dash cancels. Pretty good stuff. A lot of the time I do one or two dash cancels in my combos. Okay, um, obviously if you get something like a red attack, it leaves you in the air, so you're going to be doing basically the air portion of the combo. Oh, what happened there? But essentially you're going to, you know, get similar damage, because the red attack does actually quite good damage. Nine thousand five hundred, which is really good for um, his pretty decent red attack. Um, off of his um, fly, so basically anything that leaves him in the air, you're going to be doing about the same combo because you know you're in the same situation. You have to be a bit tight of as you just saw there, because if you're not fast enough after the dash cancel, um, the opponent actually can recover. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah. You're going to get similar combos off of almost any of the situations that leave you in the air. And I'll try to show you what that looks like if I don't mess up. Sorry, this is day one, Hawks, so my execution is not great. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. This does work, and you saw before, I'm just going to turn recovery off so I can hit the combos more consistently. So that you can see things and we're not here all day. Okay, so those are the basic combos you're going to be doing with Hawks. And if you want to use a support to extend his combos, I highly suggest using Rapa, because he basically just gets things a lot easily off of this quirk too, when a lot of supports don't really work. See, All Might kind of works, but it's kind of hard to consistently get off of it. So, yeah, I suggest using. Rapa, because he's very consistent in um, being able to connect off of it. So something after Rapa will look something like this. You call Rapa out about now, and when he's about to finish, do your red attack. Okay, I mistimed that. <laughs> and this is zero dash cancels, and it's going to do... Yeah, wow. 10,600 damage. That's really good. So, zero dash cancels. Bread and butter combo, just because I used a support in it. And obviously, I can use a support if I want, and it'll do even more damage. Uh, nope, not that. Oh, that was a bit early. Sorry. I don't know if this is going to work because we're on the wall suddenly because yes, his red attack can wall splat. What is happening? <laughs> but there we go, look at the damage. 12,100 damage, really good for a single dash cancel. And um, obviously since he's getting that um, uh, support assist at the end of his combo, he can do it basically after any point because he's often going to be ending his combos in quad 2. So even after this point, I can use Rafa to extend off of that to just get some more damage after the end. So this is just off of his regular combo, you can add some more damage to the end, where he's usually doing about 9,500, now he's doing 10, 11,600. Okay, another thing to mention when it comes to Hawks' combos is, um, regarding Rapper again, is uh, he's very good at comboing off of his plus ultra 1. 
So after he gets to about this point, oh, oops, mistimed it. But um, essentially, Rafa can very consistently combo with his plus ultra one when a lot of supports can't. So just about when he does that flurry at the end, even without a dash cancel there, that's a lot of damage. About fifteen thousand damage for, like, just a um, uh, what am I saying? For a plus ultra combo. So, yeah, and if I extend it a bit more and do something like this, and I add a, um, a dash cancel in off of my extension, I'm going to be doing a lot of damage. Whoa, where are you going, Hawks? Why does he... I, I don't, I'm still not quite sure why he suddenly, like, flies to the ground sometimes, instead of where you want him to go. <laughs> Okay, having a lot of luck doing these combos. But yeah, essentially he's going to get a lot of damage off of his plus ultra if you combo off of it. Oh my goodness. Last try. Okay, yeah. He gets big damage off of it, about 18,000 if you do a dash cancel combo afterwards. Um, okay, now, a really important part of Hawks' combos is, instead of finishing your combo normally, he actually has what I like to call a um, recovery mix-up, or a recovery reset in this game. And he has it applying off of two situations. So if you end your combo like this, just off of the charge, if the opponent recovers... Oh, they don't want recovery, are they? Oopsie. Um, so if I do something like this... So just his regular combo, and end it like this. Oh, they recovered the wrong way. A lot of the time though, you can very consistently get a reset off of their recovery. Um, I don't know why I'm suddenly not being able to do it here. Here we go. So this isn't costing me dash cancel, and it's a true reset because they are recovering. So the damage is being reset every time, and so I'm adding about like 3,000 damage every time I do that. And it could be about, like if I hit them, like, just do something like this, I'm gonna, you know, do 5,000 damage. And if you add that to the end of his, like, 9,000 damage combo, you're like, you know, it's doing a lot more than it regularly would be, about 14,000 for a single dash cancel. Which is a lot more than a lot of characters can get. Where the, these kind of mix-ups can't really come into play, so after you've done a long combo like this, and you end it with the reset. And you've been doing these quite a bit. So even that just section there, because they decided to recover twice, that was giving me a ton of damage. It's probably, oh, I didn't count them all, but like 18,000 damage in total, which is a lot of damage just because they got hit by a few resets after a combo. But if you scare them into not doing a recovery, this is where he actually gets really good um, resets on the ground. So after you do something like this, you can actually get combos like this now. And because if they, w if they were recovering before, this actually isn't real. They can actually recover out of that. But because you've scared them out of doing recoveries as often... Oops, the timing can be a bit tight. But essentially you can do this loop a bunch on the ground to add a lot of damage to combos. So, you're getting a lot more damage, and it's completely free, because you're not putting a dash cancel in order to do these loops. So even without leaving the ground, you're getting huge damage. Like, even if I didn't do that plus ultra, I can still get really good damage using this. Oh, damn it, damn it. And if I just end in his quirk too... 10,500 damage. I didn't do a dash cancel. I just got that all for free just because I scared the opponent um, away from doing their recoveries. And even if the opponent realizes you're going to do this and you only get the loop once, and then you have to go for the real combo afterwards, see I only did the reset once there, this is still adding a lot of damage to my combo. See this combo would normally do about 9,500, now I'm doing 10,800 just because I got hit by that loop once. And um, if you're staying in the meterless,
Like I said before, you can use Rapa. And this whole combo here was zero dash cancels, but it did 13,000 damage because I scared the opponent away from doing a recovery. And I could have, if, if I wanted to, I could have ended it like this. And if they recovered, I would have hit them with that reset. So it's just still reinforcing that um, that mix-up of the recovery, the recovery mix-up. So whether they recover or whether they don't. And if you guess right, you get a lot more damage. And um, another quick note. Um, by the t every time you finish your combo, like you decide to completely finish it with the Quirk 2, always throw out one of his Tilt Quirk 1s. Because that they are his great screen control move. They... So after you end your combo with this, you're guaranteed to get one of these out, and you can dash in. If they get hit by it, you get a combo. And even if they block it, you're guaranteed to press buttons there, because they're so plus on block. So if you manage to throw these out after any combo, you're almost guaranteed to go in for your pressure. And Hawks, I'll, sh I'll show here, he has some pretty great pressure. So if I do something like this, that's almost their entire health bar, and you're completely safe. Because if you, by the way, if you end anything in this, you're totally safe, and it does a lot of guard meter, uh, takes a lot of their guard meter. So, if you manage to, like, be able to enforce his pressure consistently, that's some scary stuff, because he's gonna break your guard instantly, like, if you decide to block. So yeah, make sure you're throwing these out whenever you want. But, uh, yeah, combo-wise, that's all I have to say about Hawks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll let you see his plus ultra 2 as we finish off. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you... Some other time, maybe for Hulk's gameplay. Bye, have a great day.